Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jen and this is Farabee and today we want to talk to you about getting ready for public access. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's joining us today. We really appreciate you being here. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. I'm trying to make more positive content for the service dog community so that we can share our positive message and help others. First thing I think is really important is to trick your dog and make them think you're doing public access when you're actually not. So by doing this, you're putting your vest on your dog. You are taking them somewhere where there's not gonna be a lot of dogs, like maybe a sporting goods store, um, maybe something like a craft store, something like that, where you're less likely to encounter dogs. So this would not be like a pet cove situation. We're not going for a walk right now. Fairby's pressing her button, she wants to go for a walk. So this would be something that is not gonna be very many dogs there if you see any at all. And the reason behind this is your dog is not used to thinking that they are the only dog going somewhere. I love you too. <laughs> so by doing something like this, like I said, it kind of tricks your dog into thinking that they are doing public access. You treat them like they're doing public access and you have their vest on them, ask them to do things you would want them to do during public access. So, you know, sit whenever you stop or lay or whatever you want them to do, or maybe just stop in general, stop walking with you, um, but different things like that. In that way, it's actually kind of tricking them into thinking they're doing something big and brave and they're really kind of not yet. And if they make mistakes, then it's totally fine that they've made a mistake because you're not anywhere that dogs can't be anyway. But the key is not letting your dog know that. So one of the things that you might be wondering is how do I know if my dog is ready to do public access? You don't really know. Unfortunately, you don't know. It's a gamble, really. So I'm editing the video and I apparently cut out something super important and I can't find the clip. So I'm just gonna pop in here. Um, so whenever I just said it's a gamble, what I had said after this and I can't find the clip, um, so it should not be a gamble whenever you actually go to real public access places. The reason it's a gamble on this part that I'm talking about here is because you're doing public access prep. So you're going to sporting goods stores, hardware stores, local things like farmer's markets, craft stores, stuff that's pet friendly, but is not directed toward animals. So by the time you actually go to real legit public access places, your dog should be not a gamble anymore. Um, you're gambling at these places because it's technically okay for you to, but you know, once you start going to the mall, to the doctor's office, to uh, grocery stores, cruises, whatever you're doing with your dog in the world, your dog doesn't need to be a gamble anymore. To do public access at a pet friendly store when you're doing these dry runs that I'm talking about with your dog having a vest on, your dog doesn't necessarily need to have a task down yet. It would be very beneficial if they do have a task because you can practice that task out in public. Because if your dog knows a task at home, that's great, but for them to take that out into the real world is probably gonna be a little bit different for them. It might be a good idea to give them a few minutes in the door and then just kind of let them walk beside you or beside the shopping cart or whatever you're doing and just let them get used to being in there and then see if you can get them to do a sit, a lay, you know, whatever their easy tricks are that they know, I would do that. Before you start public access, you want to know your local laws. So in addition to knowing your, obviously your country's laws about service dogs, you also wanna know your state laws. If you're in the US, they vary state to state. The other thing I would definitely recommend having are ADA cards. But this is something you can buy on Amazon. This is not a service dog registry. That is not what this is at all. What this is, this is a law card. And I'll see if I can get it to focus. I'll pop a picture in. This is a law card. This is what business owners can ask you about your dog. So the questions that people are allowed to ask you about your dog when it comes to like access issues and things like that are, is this dog a service animal required because of a disability? And then what work or task has this dog been trained to do? That's all they can ask you. And a lot of places don't realize that and they'll start asking a million questions and obviously you don't just wanna be rude to somebody, but you don't have to answer a million questions. As far as your dog being a certain age when they're ready for public access, this is going to go case by case. There is no age, there's no magic age your dog is ready for public access. It really depends on, number one, the individual dog. 
And number two, it depends on how long they've been training. So it really depends on how long you've had your dog, how long you've actually been working on service dog training, and of course the dog itself. So you want to work with your dog around shopping carts. And to do this, I would definitely recommend going somewhere like maybe a Michael's craft store, um, maybe a Ace Hardware, somewhere that has the smaller carts that are plastic. Do this at first, just so your dog has a positive experience with a smaller shopping cart that's not gonna be as loud and scary as maybe like a Home Depot flat cart or a grocery store shopping cart. And the best way that I found to do this was to let her go places that had shopping carts and let her kind of observe other people with shopping carts first. And then after going and doing that, maybe once or twice, then what we did was we actually got our very own shopping cart and I just got it very, very slow. I pulled it out from the cart corral thing and you know had her kind of stand with me basically. And we just moved it very slow very, very slowly, you know, let her explore it. I was very um, encouraging, I guess, around it. So I was doing things like, oh, what is it? Oh my gosh, it's so fun. You know, things like that that you do to kind of comfort your dog and to make them feel like it's a playful, fun thing. Also bring treats and make sure that your dog has a lot of treats that day, um, you know, around the shopping cart because it might not be a big deal, but then again, it could be. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're interested in following Faraby on Instagram, she is Faraby underscore Fable. I am Knit in the Zone. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We hope you're having an awesome week, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.